afternoon, everybody. Um, this is uh, Zvonimir Bandik. Uh, I'm um, a board of directors, a member of RIS-5, uh, chairman of the Chips Alliance, and in my day job, I work uh, in uh, Western Digital Corporation. I manage uh, our next-gen platforms uh, technologies department, which is focused on uh, various hardware platforms in Western Digital, including our RIS-5 uh, platform for the in-house flash controllers, uh, machine learning accelerator uh, project, uh, smart networking protocols like Omni Extend, and uh, and uh, also uh, memory controller technologies for new generation of uh, low latency persistent members. The presentation today is the introduction to Chips Alliance. Uh, Chips is a abbreviation for a common hardware for interfaces, processors, and systems. And so thank you very much for the opportunity to introduce this organization. So the agenda is, uh, I'll explain uh, who are we, uh, and uh, I'll uh, uh, list uh, project goals and deliverables, uh, organization structure, governance model. Uh, I'll talk briefly about the membership work groups uh, and events we are organizing. Uh, and um, uh, well, then I'll conclude. In the backup for this presentation that I'm happy to share with the attendees, I have also included uh, some Chips Alliance example projects. This potentially can be interesting to people who want to learn more or who basically wants to study the examples to, to get an idea what is this organization doing. So first, um, uh, who are we? Um, we are uh, an open source hardware and open source design and verification tools uh, organization. Uh, eventually, we would like to host a fully open design methodology that would uh, uh, really uh, operate uh, sort of like an open road project from high level synthesis to placing route, uh, synthesis, physical design, maybe have some PDKs from different foundries uh, as a part of the, of the organization, etc. The founding members. Uh, are all right. So sorry, I have uh, somehow lost my presentation view. Give me a second. Uh, can you still see my my screen? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. I can only see myself, uh, my video feed, so I'm trying to get back to the PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, so the founding members uh, of the organization are Google, Western Digital, Esperanto, and uh, sci -Fi. And... Um, since then, uh, when we started the org, which was in March uh, this year, uh, we also had uh, Alibaba, Codacit, uh, Imperas, Metrics, and Micro, uh, Munich uh, University of Applied Sciences to join. And we are currently working with uh, at least uh, three more universities and four more companies on uh, formally joining the organization. We also have few extraordinary individuals. These are the people who have uh, joined us themselves rather than uh, members of their companies. These are currently Wilson Snyder of the Ventilator fame and Olaf Kingren of the Fuse SOC uh, fame. I'm sure to all the Fosse uh, folks uh, in your audience, these are familiar names. So what is Chips Alliance? Uh, Chips Alliance is an organization which developed and host uh, high quality open source hardware code like IP cores, uh, interconnect IPs, including both physical and logical protocols, and finally, open source software development tools, really looking uh, into the advancements of design, verification methodologies, and really staying in the open source. It's meant to be a barrier free environment for a collaboration, uh, and it uh, roughly follows the standards organization framework for collaboration and development, meaning the idea is to break the organization into work groups that are focused on uh, roadmap definition for various IPs or software tools and to then jointly, uh, jointly work uh, together in making them happen. 
all under the legal framework that assumes that um, work is produced under Apache V2 license. And also the, the projects that are donated to the, uh, to the organization are assume, assumed to follow Apache V2 or similar licensing model. The idea is that, uh, uh, is that open source um, is not free. Obviously, open source is not free, but when, when, when IP is expressed as open source, it reduces the barrier for collaboration and creates an opportunity for shared resources, both dollar and time, uh, in terms of engineering time, which lowers the cost of hardware development. This applies to the shared pieces of IP and for the software tools that are in everybody's common interest. Um, if uh, we look at the project goals, the idea is to leverage common hardware development efforts to create and maintain uh, well-verified IP blocks that can be broadly used, like RISC-5 cores, neural network accelerator cores, uncore components such as PCI Express, DDR, interconnect, etc. The verification contributions obviously would benefit all the members, and um, and uh, putting putting joint resources on design verification should uh, reduce the cost and improve the qualities of IPs. Um, second goal would be to deliver high quality open source CPU and SOC designs, meaning to try to try to focus the organization on the higher level projects into which many IPs can actually go into. And uh, this is something that uh, has been the dream of the organizers of the Chips Alliance. And uh, we are hoping that um, one such design, like a RISC-V-based Linux-capable multi-core SOC, uh, would be a design that could integrate a lot of a uh, lot of technologies, and also rely on the open-source software design and verification tools. Um, the third goal is to develop and improve existing open-source uh, software development tools, which includes uh, open-source RTL simulator. Simulators like Verilator, package managers like Fuse SOC, uh, and to in general try to enable new verification models such as uh, CocoTB, Python based design verification. Finally, for many companies that uh, are already in Chips Alliance or are, are thinking of joining Chips Alliance, um, there is an opportunity to explore and develop uh, what we've been uh, uh, openly calling Red Hat models for open source hardware meaning there is an opportunity for companies to, to offer open source IP uh, support and maintenance uh, and uh, design verification service. So that's something that's interesting both for uh, IP cores, but it's also interesting for the software tools. So a lot of things that are open source are obviously not free and require efforts to continuously maintain and improve. And this uh, actually creates uh, opportunities for new business models and in some cases, uh, open source IP can be significantly uh, helping and reducing the export barriers uh, and collaboration barriers, uh, evaluation, uh, sort, of, sort of early customer engagement and evaluation barriers, etc. Uh, in terms of the project deliverables, um, uh, I think it can be summarized as a hardware and software design and development under an open source uh, Apache V2 license that would cover verified IP blocks, verified SOC designs based on RISC-5 and maybe some even new open source instruction set architectures, open source software development tools for ASIC development, and other high value IP, including analog uh, IP that's been discussed by some potential uh, members. Uh, and finally, to, to really explore and develop new design flows exploration, like a Python-based uh, design verification is something that uh, appears uh, very attractive in terms of overall cost reduction and simplification. Svanime? Yes. Sorry, sorry to stop you. You're, you're, are your slides rolling forward? Because we, we, all we can <coughs> see is the chips alike who we are with the various oh. members. Oh, 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 oh. You should have told me because I, I'm, I'm already on the page four. So let me. Sorry, I'm totally new to go to meeting and I, I don't know how to how to manage it properly. Where do you say share share your screen? Where, where do you, 
control the sharing of the oh okay there is Okay. Yeah, okay. that's same. Oh, good. All right. So, so hopefully you've you've uh, heard me talking through these things, so I don't have to repeat them. <laughs> uh, we went briefly to you know to ba this basic idea that Chips Alliance really cover the uh, pieces of IP, including interconnects and open source software development tools. Uh, and that we have an ambition to eventually have a open source CPU or SOC design that would integrate a lot of pieces of IP and the methodology. Um, and uh, and uh, the deliverables would be verified IP blocks, verified SOC designs, and open source software development tools. Um, all right, so hopefully you are now seeing the slide on Chips Alliance organizational structure, do you? Yes. Yeah. All right, great. So, so Chips Alliance uh, uh, follows the organizational structure that's uh, very similar to the RIST-5 Foundation. As a matter of fact, a lot of things, uh, including participation agreement, have been brutally copied from uh, RIST-5 Foundation. We are a project uh, incorporated into Linux Foundation, so Chips Alliance is a Linux Foundation project. We have a Chips Alliance board of directors that oversees all the activities and currently has myself, Richard Ho from Google, who is serving as a vice chairman, Janin Ki from Alibaba, Dave Ditzel from Esperanto, and Yun Su Pli, uh, who is a CTO of Sci5, on the board. Uh, the chair of the technical committee is Henry Cook. Uh, and under Henry, there is multiple Work groups, and I'll talk about a few of them that uh, already started having regular meetings. The organization is run by the executive director. We are interviewing for this position currently, uh, and uh, we haven't found a permanent uh, executive director yet. So we have Ted Marina uh, acting as the interim uh, director, uh, really bringing a lot of his experience. Uh, Ted is a uh, chair of the marketing work group in RISC 5 and he actually brought a lot of key experiences into how to organize conferences, meetings, and how to work with uh, Linux Foundation. Uh, Linux Foundation, uh, uh, for all these projects that it manages, provides uh, legal and finance operation support. That's actually super useful. They help organize the meetings, the Zoom, and other online meetings, uh, the conferences. They do the invoicing of the members and provide a legal advice where appropriate. Finally, we Finally, have... Uh, Michael. Uh, go ahead and please uh, repeat the question. There was no question. All right. So sounded like a question here, no problem. So, and, and finally, we have uh, Michael Gilda. Um, he is uh, chairing the outreach committee, which is uh, pretty much uh, uh, similar, like a RISC-5 marketing uh, uh, work group. And uh, he is trying to help organize first events and workshops. And uh, for that, we also have a Linux Foundation events team uh, help. Uh, governance model uh, is uh, adopted uh, uh, and from RISC-5 Foundation and then slightly modified for open source uh, hardware and software projects. They have a governing board or board of directors that oversees the business decisions, budgets, outreach, marketing events, and trademarks. We have technical steering committee that proposes projects to be approved uh, and coordinates across projects. Uh, and uh, outreach committee that coordinates evangelism, communication, uh, and events. And finally, the meat of the organization, which is project maintainers and technical work groups that deliver the verified design in case of IPs, design verification test benches in case of uh, DD tools, um, specifications uh, in case of uh, uh, physical and logical interconnect protocols, uh, etc. And um, uh, all that uh, on GitHub. Uh, through uh, GitHub uh, public and private uh, uh, features, 
and uh, uh, under the Apache uh, V2 licensing model, uh, and according to the project lifecycle document which we have adopted from Linux Foundation, which sort of guarantees uh, access and openness to any uh, to any idea. Um, we have a special relationship with the FOSSI uh, Foundation in Europe. Um, FOSSI is the free and open source silicon foundation uh, that has been hosting many uh, exciting projects and activities related to, um, to uh, free and open source silicon, both in terms of the IP and tools. Uh, we maintain this uh, connection through visiting each other's meetings, uh, sponsorships, uh, and um, uh, co-organizing workshops, and I'll actually talk about it in, in a few slides. So membership. A membership, like uh, other projects of the Linux Foundation, um, the project is funded through membership dues and contributed engineering resources. And membership levels include platinum, uh, gold, silver, auditor, and individual uh, uh, or academic. The academic members uh, pay no membership fees. And the highest uh, platinum level is at uh, 20K, 25K uh, or $25,000. Gold is at $10,000 and silver at uh, $5,000. $5, uh, events, our mm -hmm. very first Chips Alliance workshop uh, uh, was held on Google campus in Mountain View on June 19, 2019. It was an exciting event, fully sold out with 199 participants. Uh, and um, in preparation, we now have a design verification workshop, which is co-organized with FOSSI, and will be in uh, Munich, uh, at Munich University of Applied Sciences, uh, on November 14th and 15th. In, on January 29th next year, we are planning a Chips Alliance One Day workshop and a Chisel Work Group workshop. Uh, and uh, our second, second work uh, workshop will be in Shanghai uh, in early March 2020. We haven't announced this yet, uh, but we haven't been keeping it as a secret. It will be co-hosted by Fudan University and Alibaba. Uh, work groups uh, are, that are already active are Chisel Work Group, uh, which uh, is a um, very large 40-plus member team that uh, is uh, joining CHIPS Alliance as a part of UC Berkeley joining CHIPS Alliance. And uh, many of you probably have heard about Chisel. It's a high-level uh, high, high language uh, that uh, allows fairly efficient uh, uh, putting together of the system on CHIPS uh, designs that uh, incorporate multiple different uh, pieces of IP. Uh, we have a tools work group uh, in which we currently have some exciting open source software projects. Specifically, uh, we are trying to figure out a Verilator roadmap uh, so that uh, system Verilog support can be created and potentially funded through the organization and its members. We have a few SOC uh, projects for integration of the Swerve RISC-V core, and we have enablement of the CocoaTB uh, with the Verilator simulator. So this is an ongoing uh, project uh, which we hope to upstream uh, in in a couple of months. We have a course work group uh, that currently uh, has a Swerve uh, uh, IP donated by Western Digital, and it's expected to continue generating cores. So we are planning to announce some new cores uh, on the RISC-V summit in December. And finally, we have an interconnect work group uh, that. Uh, also been active and focusing on a tiling specification for cache coherence and interconnect, and also OmniExtend, which is a, a cache coherence uh, protocol for putting uh, multiple, uh, multiple SOCs and accelerators that are using a tiling cache coherence protocol, which, which typically is RISC V, but it could be any other uh, instruction set uh, architecture. So finally, to conclude, um, the CHIPS Alliance organization has been brought up to share resources and lower the cost of uh, hardware development and uh, has an ambition to cover both digital and analog IPs. Um, we also want to contribute to development of open source uh, software design tools 
and this is really benefit that uh, could, uh, that benefits everybody in the organization. Uh, and uh, the membership uh, benefits are receiving high quality open source uh, CPU and SOC designs and complex IPU blocks, and also working on them in the earlier private phases and and determining the roadmap of these IPs. And uh, finally, just to conclude, open source collaboration and diversity can now benefit hardware as well. For those of you who are interested uh, to learn more about joining, this is the link which we are maintaining, chipsalliance.org slash join, which uh, directly leads to the participation agreement. So I'm going to kind of stop here and, and um, take any questions. And I'm just hoping that uh, you can either repeat the questions or, or bring them close to the microphone. Any questions? I'll give one. Svonimir, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. I, I can hear you. You're, you're loud enough, but you kind of sound as if you're far away from microphone in a way. Okay, I will try and talk directly to the microphone. This is uh, George Gray uh, from uh -huh. Um So, interested in your talk, um, and I'm going to cover some of the topics in, in my talk in a moment, but I had one question for you around the IP blocks that you are looking at, because coming from the, the ARM world in particular, um, we know that, for example, you mentioned PCIe is a very complex IP block. Is this something that you're developing from scratch, or is it something that you have an existing design that can be upstreamed? because it took many, many years to get PCIe right um, from companies like Synopsys and so on. So this seems a pretty ambitious goal. I'm just wondering how you are uh, tackling this. Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. No, we do not have a, we do not have PCI Express nor DDR IPs currently uh, in the organization. We hope that some new potential members may bring it in. Currently, of the of the pieces of uh, of IP that that we do have, uh, we only have the Swerve, current Swerve uh, EH1 core and the future future cores that uh, that will come into the organization in December. So I'll, I'll give way to anybody else, but one follow up to that: Will you only take in open source hardware? Or will you also integrate licensed IP potentially from from partners or members? So uh, that, that that's a that's a great question. We hope we hope uh, that uh, we will only uh, work with an open source hardware IP components when it comes to the RTL. When it comes to the tools, uh, we would we would like to sort of uh, start from the RTL. Um, Simulator, and then slowly, slowly move, uh, slowly move uh, down the um, overall uh, synthesis flow. We we've been negotiating uh, with an open road project. Open road project is a DARPA funded uh, project for the fully open source and automated uh, design uh, and synthesis methodology from RTL to GDS. We are hoping that Open Road joins uh, Chips Alliance. And uh, and uh, they may not be fully ready yet for commercial applications, but they certainly want to sort of uh, explore explore such flows. No more questions. Okay, show your appreciation for joining. Thank you.